Hey guys, my name is Frank and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3 for an off-road video with the Halo Warthog. I don't know the specific name, it's quite long and very, very hard to pronounce. I'm just going to call it the Warthog for short. So anyway, it looks absolutely insane. I mean, when I found out this was coming into Forza Horizon 3, I was like, it's kind of cool but very strange at the same time to think that a car from a different game and a completely different universe is actually in it. But it looks wicked though. It looks freaking wicked now. The reason why this isn't a build is because you can barely do anything to it. You can change the rims, but I think it would look stupid with like HREs or BBSs on it. I'm in a bush. Oh god. Um, and you can change the drivetrain to make it rear-wheel drive, but since it is an off-road build, we don't really want to do that, but it is loud. It is very loud and actually pumps out 720 horsepower and 855 pounds of torque, so I don't think it needs any more power because it is pretty rapid the way it is. It's got six gears, I thought it had seven. You could just take out take out any car in your way in this thing. Although I love that you it's getting taken out. Take out this jack. No, why did I hit the jack? Shit. Oh god, I thought it was a BMW M5 coming. Bugger. I hit my favourite car. Well, one of my favourite cars. Well, I like Jaguars, as I say, they're my favourite car brand. Bugger. <laughs> but, have we mucked around in the airport yet? I don't think we have. We'll have a little bit of fun around here. We need to take off some sick ass jumps, yo. Some gnarly jumps. Oh my god. At least they can cope with the bumps. At least they can cope with the bumps, man. Oh my god. It's a tad wobbly. It's a tad wobbly, as you would expect, with all the suspension and everything. On you go. Better play? Yes, we can, Justin, no more. Why isn't car meet? Oh shit, I didn't mean to go in here. I didn't mean to go in here. My bad, I thought that was a, a jump. Okay, um, what are we doing? Is this the first time I've won any one of these? I think it is. No, it isn't. Okay. This is the car meet. People showing off custom paint jobs, people swapping tuning tips, people drag racing on the airstrip dirt. Horizon is about people too, you know. Lovely car mad people. They are damn right, hen. But, oh god, there's a jag that I just screwed up. I, I think there's a lot more cars in this one than Horizon 3. Uh, Horizon 2, I mean, in terms of the car meet. Or it might just be the same. I don't know. Maybe just me, but. Anyway, let's return back. That was just a quick little scenery bit there. I didn't expect to get into that. But it does look like a jump, do you not think that? I know the fact that it says Horizon 3 car meet on it is plainly obvious. But me, I don't notice these sorts of things, man. I really don't. I've got the hiccups. Oh my god. Kill me now. Anyway, I think we'll just head back over to Druids. Because you guys really like that um, Ford Focus RS build. Thanks a lot for the support on that video. And yeah, off road builds are here to stay. They will be coming like uh, every couple of days because I'm going to do a drift build one day and an off road build the next. So this gives a little bit of diversity in that view though. Wow. I mean, it's still wowing me this game, man. It's still really surprising me. But I tried to drive up the dam the other night in an aerial nomad. It doesn't work. We might just go there right now and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But we ended up doing a wheelie on the way back down. It's pretty funny. It just eats up the terrain, man. I've not even checked out the interior yet. Okay. Calm yourself down, man. Calm yourself down. That was a big bump, but... That is insane. It looks like a Hummer H1 interior, but times a million. It's like, he's in driving the Warthog. Get out the fucking way. You son of a bitch. I can't, I can't do Arnold that well, but yeah. I th I'm surprised if this car did exist in real life, he would order one of these. Yes, I just have the Halo Warthog. Just go cruising around California in it. Just scaring everybody. <laughs> oh, I need to work on impression, man, but... Anyway, we're here at the dam, surprisingly quickly. Can we climb this? Please tell me we can climb this bit. And this, I highly doubt it. It looks very, very small from a, a bit away, but... Quite big when you need it. Go up here, go up here, go up here, yes! And this could easily take out the trees that you can't break in any other cars. Right, this is the bit that I tried. Oh, okay! 
Oh, I thought it was maybe all wheel drive. Why can't you guys go and drive up it? That's my, that's one of my requests for Forza Horizon 4, a drive upable dam. If that's even a word, we're just doing burnouts now, aren't we? What about the red bits? Go do this. Come on, 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 come on. Ah, shit. Are we stuck? I think we might be stuck. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Come on. Yes. I like it. I mean, it'd be so cool if we could drive up that, but a tad sad that we can't. So I'm just checking how the club is actually going right now. If you do want to join it, then the tag is EKPS, as you can see right there. The name's EK after 458. 272 members. It's pretty good, man. Pretty, pretty good. So, yeah, feel free to join it. And right now, I think we'll head back and do a race. I've not done a race in a video before, I don't think. Exhibition Timbermill Scramble. Yes, this one is a brilliant race. I love the Timbermill. I've been meaning to make a video around this place. So good. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this car down below, guys. I know you can actually get it via a code if you've played um, Halo Halo 5, I think it is. I haven't played it. It was a very, very nice girl, or I think it was a girl at least, uh, that gave me a code for it on Twitter. So big shout out to you. Big, big, big shout out to you. I can't really remember your name, but thanks a bunch. It's a really, really cool car. I believe she had uh, two codes. So yeah, she had one for herself and she just gave them one away. So that helped out big time, man. Really, really, really well. And I do appreciate when you guys do stuff like that for me. That's freaking awesome. I'll just cut across here. This is one of my favourite areas in this game just for farting about. So much fun. Are we, are we, where are we going? It's up this way. Oh, that, that I've got to claim that, haven't I? I've got it. That's a golden opportunity. Oh, God, don't go off the side. Don't go off the side. <laughs> Look at the tiles. Jesus, and I've just realised it has, like, four blooming petrol cans on it. What are they called? Jerry cans or something? Jerry cam, Jerry cams, I think it is. So, apparently, I've already done this race, but I'm going to do it again. Why does it have to be raining? You're reminding me too much of my home country, man. Bugger you. Bugger you, bugger you, bugger you. <laughs> I love the close-up of the rims there. Normally we'd have like flashy Eniki rims or... Is it Eniki or Enki rims? That's what I'm trying to say. I always used to call them Eniki rims for some reason. Weird. I know. I know that's weird. But yeah, pretty funny to just see like big drum freaking rims. I think you can call them rims on this thing. I would just call them hubcaps. Okay, Alex. I've seen your videos, mate. I'm normally floating about third place in these videos. But hopefully I can... But I'm beating them now. Oh my god, my god. This thing has really good traction, even in the rain, man. Probably the best car I've actually driven in terms of putting down traction. Move, move, mini. Have I driven out of a video yet? Even in Horizon 2, I don't think I've driven that. Why have I not done that? You crazy bugger. Come on, and go. I don't know what the top speed in this thing is going to be. I presume not 200. Probably saying about 150, maybe. Maybe lower than that, about 120. Because we're nearly hitting the rev limiter right now. Come on. It's just the body roll into the corners, which is freaking mental. I forgot this is a convertible, so I'm gonna get spammed with rain. It's like pfft, spitting out droplets. And I never thought I'd say this, but this thing actually gets turned into the corner very well. It's a big surprise, man. I was expecting this thing to handle like a freaking boat, but no, it actually handles pretty well. And someone in EK, someone in the in the club is actually uh, in the first place. So if you're watching, then shout out. Come on, come on, come on. It's the Warthog Club up here. Fifth gear, fourth gear. I'm really liking this thing, man. I never expected that. Holy shit, I mean, I've never played Halo or anything, so I don't know what it's going to be like in them games. I know you might be thinking you've never played Halo. Oh my god, but whatever, whatever floats your boat, it doesn't particularly float my boat, but if it floats your boat, then that's perfectly fine. 
6th gear, if we can put the 6th gear. This car's wide enough that you can just mash down the checkpoints, even though you're like miles off of them. It's a bit of a cheater car. Bit of a cheater car, man. No. <laughs> this doesn't even slide or anything. This is fantastic. Imagine if you could do engine swaps in this thing, man. I hope they do add that in. Like in the future, like engine swaps for this thing. Imagine like a Viper 8.4 litre V10 engine. God damn. But I think I've got a request for um, the next Horizon game in terms of engine swaps and like Forza games. The Lexus LF A310. Please. Please. Just like we can make a. We can make a Dodge. I don't even know. I don't want to say Dodge because muscle car fans are going to get offended by this, but let's just say we can make a Supra sound like an LFA. That's more like it. There we go. But uh, I've seen a, speaking of the Supra and that, I've seen a couple of pictures um, of the new, I think it was BMW Z8, not Z8, but Z5. Z5. It's this new car that BMW and Toyota are kind of collabing with. I mean, they're kind of collabing together to make it, but they're supposedly making a new Supra out of it, and I don't know if it was the Supra that I seen for the, the, the Z5, but the back end's kinda ugly. Kinda ugly, I'm not gonna lie. Awesome duck one. 100,000 credits, what can we get? Come on, we're recording, please get something good! Mm, not too bad, AMC Rebel, I haven't got that yet. I shall take that, please. Thank you very much. What are they getting? I've seriously got to go through the events more in this game. I know Alex is on like 25 million. He must have been fucking grinding this game like every night, man. Jesus. I mean, I like the game, but I've got a life outside the game. I'm only joking. I really don't. I go out of my office here, then I go back home and watch some YouTube videos and answer you guys back in the comments. That's all I really do. All I really do. And then on Thursday nights, I just hang out with Andy up here. That's generally me. I need to get another night out soon, man, with Batchy, Marley, and uh, MT2008, that one Scottish guy. So if any of you are watching, man, then who is up? Who is? I'm not a fucking owl, I'm not Thanos. <laughs> Houdini! No. Hook is up in uh, Twitter. Definitely, because I'm about to actually go out again. There we go, but just the right height on this thing, I've noticed that as well, when you're just cruising along, I'm like, get out of the way, peasants! Get out of the way! Even even in the mini, like the jack top mini, it's just towering above it. I think it's even more cool considering the fact that it's essentially a target top. Because <laughs> look at that, you got a metal bar running down it. It's like a target top. Please tell me we can go through here. Please tell me. Come on. Oh, what? This thing could easily do that. I don't get that right. Some of the lakes you can just drive through, no bother, and then some of them you can't. Eh? It's not even up to the actual bodywork yet, it's just at the tyres. Come on, the road was just there. There we go, that's that. Thought it was going to blow them crash on me. Look how mean that looks. The tyres? I love the texture of the tyres when it's wet on this thing, it's like nothing else. So cool. So pretty cool. Who did donuts in this? Wasn't expecting that either. This thing is full of surprises. I think that's going to be the title of this video going Warthog Off Road Surprising Build or something. Let's just go fly up here. I don't care if there's trees that are going to stop us. They shouldn't stop us in this thing. Let's get a bit close. Oh my god, look at the view. Jesus Christ. <laughs> there was someone in the comments the other night that says um, they're the exact same as me when it comes to like. The environment and the landscape, they just stop and take pictures and they just look and stuff. But yeah, I'm kinda I'm kinda giddy. For the people that are joining the channel, first of all, thank you. And for the people that are joining the channel right now, I'm kind of a sucker for taking pictures. And I do do I do um as people that have been on the channel for long enough to know I'm a horizon driver. I'm not a boy racer or anything. I'm more of a horizon slash drifter. Horizon is kinda like a cruiser, so it's taking pictures as I said, but Anyway guys, I think we're going to round it off here today for this very, very, very fun review of the Halo Warthog. And thank you, that was my fault, even though I was on the wrong side of the road. But yeah, uh, let me know, as I said at the start, your thoughts and opinions on the thing. Have you got your hands on it yet? 
and I hope you do because it's a well, well, well worthy addition to the Forza series. So, pat on the back to Microsoft and Turn 10 Playground for bringing it in. So I'm trying to think, what other cars from other games would you like to see in the Forza series? That's quite a good idea, man. Get a discussion going in the comments, guys. Like, if it's a car from, like, Burnout or a car from... God only knows, I don't know, but... Yeah, just let me know in the comment section below. But thank you very much for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed it, then a like is always appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. And also follow me on all my social media stuff in the description below. Like Facebook, Twitter, Car Throttle, and Instagram. But for me and the Mental Warthog, we'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Sounds, sounds pretty good, innit? Sounds pretty good.